This is Matt Froon, two boxing. Delight to be joined once again by Josh Hargreaves. Josh, caught you last time you were in here. We got to witness a few good spars tonight. Uh, before we go into all that, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good, yeah. I'm just waiting for a fight day at the minute. You were last out six weeks ago, um, roughly, I think, on, on the Donny card with Reese. That's the one. Uh, you managed to get the win on points. Talk to me about your last performance, how you thought you got on. Assess it for us. Uh, it was a good learning fight because I boxed a kid who had a lot of experience, a lot heavier than me. And I learnt a lot from it because he were a, a really decent test for what he was because he were a strong kid and did the job. We were all right. Is that what is that what you wanted? Someone who would give you that test, someone who was a bit sturdy. Oh, you mentioned there the weight. Is that you think that's helped you and benefited you? Hundred percent. I don't want to get in there with someone that I'm going to just knock over in one round because you're not going to learn up from it. I want rounds and I want to learn from it. But like I say, these I've bought them free and earn now, but. You haven't even seen the half of it at the minute because I'm just doing what I need to do to win these fights. And the better the opponent, the better me you're going to see. I was just about to say that you're seeing a lot of fighters from the elite fighters. Sometimes when they fight fighters that are maybe a load below levels, it makes them look um, either sloppy or not as good as they are. Do you think that'll be the same with you? Whereas as you move up in levels, your performances will just go up? 100%. Well, I'm sparring world champions in this gym. And yeah. I'm having good spars, so it just the better the opposition, the better me you're going to see. Talk to me about Sean, very hands on. Um, seen a bit more of him tonight in action with you guys in the sparring. Really breaks it down for you, teaches you little things, and he's um, going through it sort of really meticulously. How good is it having him on board so he can sort of point out where things maybe that he wants to see more of, what you're doing well, what you're doing wrong? Very in depth in how he does it. Um, first time I've seen him in action properly tonight doing all that um, in person. So. How do you sort of rate his work as a trainer with you? I've learned a lot from um, this gym already, like Sean and that. He's like a boxing dictionary, Sean. The, the amount of stuff, the all that he doesn't know about boxing, he knows everything. I've learned that from since I've come here and he's made me a lot better fighter. And then there's more to come, a lot more. What's the banter like in here? I mean, I've heard some of these jokes. It must be good coming here, although you do get beasted and you get put through your paces. It's good cracking it. Everyone in here, the lads, Maxi, Josh, obviously, Sean, it is good. Is that, does that help you get through your training? Because it's bloody hard work. Yeah, I enjoy coming at gym. All lads in here are sound and we all have a good laugh and a bit of crack. Good bit of crack. And then when it's fight and it's fight days and what have you, you get into it and you get um, into your training. But we always have a laugh, always. Yeah. You don't come in this gym and don't have a laugh. Absolutely. Now, seen some of the spars tonight, obviously, Max, who were in there. Um, you've got Levi, who came in and did some sparring, some brilliant sparring. What's it like sparring these guys? And obviously, Max is world champion and things like that. What, what's, um, what's that experience like for you, who's obviously early on in your professional career? Yeah, well, you can't beat it getting rounds with like, Max. Well, I spar him on a regular basis, like his last uh, fight and Josh's last fight. I did a lot, a lot of rounds with him, so I'm only learning and learning from them. And I'm just getting better every day, every day. What's the sort of, if they give you any advice, you know, because they're seasoned, they've seen highs and lows of boxing, both of them. If they give you any advice or sort of things to look out for, I ask a lot of pros who've only had a few fights, so it, you know, especially when they're in the gym with the likes of these guys. Have they given out to you or said something that's sort of stuck in your head? Yeah, all the time. Do you know if I do something wrong? Well, I can't get everything right about you. always stuff to learn, so they always, yeah, tell me if I'm doing something wrong. They'll always say, pick up on that and get that right and what have you. Like Sean does, you know, if you're doing something wrong in sparring yeah. stop the full lot you're doing yeah. that wrong start doing it right or don't spar it's simple when are you next back out then have you been given an indication of a date or when do you want to be out what's what's the crack where's your sort of um, what's your sort of status now uh, september i think i ain't got a date but i'm thinking september so i'm starting like gonna start getting back into proper training for long because i've been like just, you know, ticking over at a minute, not like going for it full on because I've still probably got a couple of months before I'll fight, so... Is that hard for you, that? You know, when you come in and you do maybe tick over because when you say, you mean, before you get into full camp, are you one of these who just likes to be in camp all the time because you've got you something to focus on, especially when you get your opponent named? Yeah, I do like to have a date, but still when I don't have a date, I still always train. I'll always go for my runs, I'll always be at gym yeah. and... Um, I don't, I never really have days off, like, unless I go on holiday. I won't train when I go on holiday, I go for a break. I was going to say, Sean's mentioned a few of you about going on holidays. He says, fucking always on holiday this lot. Yeah, I Are don't you mind one of them? Holiday. Yeah, I don't mind going on holiday. When I'm four and I've boxed and I've done my job, like, I'll... Um, Do you have a week just to let your hair down? Yeah, a week, yeah. No training, no boxing, no nothing. Just go and enjoy myself. What about the diet? Because I know a lot of boxers, as soon as they finish, it's like, 
fucking McDonald's, the, the, you know, the shackles are off a bit. You, do you have a week where you just sort of say, you know what, I'm going to eat what I want this week, then next week, that's it. Because I assume, obviously, with all the training you do, as soon as you eat a meal, especially a cheat meal, I'm sure it's easier to put weight back on. Oh, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier to put weight on than it is to lose it. I know that. But yeah, I like my food as well, me. So it's like the dieting job. It's not hard when I'm training for a fight. Yeah. But when I ain't got a fight at the minute, it, it gets a bit tough, yeah, because I just want to eat. What's your go to? What's your go to meal that you'll like beast through? You know, when you really want some. Of? When I want too much to eat. Yeah, you know, when you know when you're like you know when you're like not having to train for a fight or or you have that week off after the fight. What's that thing? What's that meal you go for? Oh really? I like Domino's, Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I can't eat tubs of that. <laughs> tubs of it. <laughs> Talk to me about some of these big fights that are coming up anyway. We've got um, Anthony Joshua, Alexander Usyk. I want to get your opinion on the rematch. He's got a new trainer, brought Robert Garcia on board. A lot of people think that'll have a big effect on this fight. Have you got any thoughts on it? I want to see AJ win, obviously, because I want to see him fight Fury, but I think Usyk will beat him again, me. I just think he's just got his number. I do. Right. Well, let's play that scenario out. Say AJ beats Usyk. AJ versus Fury. Yeah. Um, obviously, Tyson's coming off big victories, and if, if Joshua beats Usyk, that'll be one hell of a victory, considering how the first fight went. Where would you put place your bets if you had to in that fight? I think the world will stand still if AJ fights Fury. Yeah. God willing, that happens in Wembley if they do do it. But yeah. what happens in that fight? AJ against Fury? Yeah. I think Fury may, but to AJ's chance of knocking him out and he's got that power and he's a good boxer as well. So If Tyson's to beat him, though, do you believe he gets the best of him on points or do you believe he can stop him? Yeah, maybe so, because he tires, doesn't he? So, yeah, maybe so in them later rounds, yeah. Wear him down and tire him out, yeah. Well, it's going to be such an interesting... Everybody wants to see it. Everybody wants to see that fight. I, that's why I want him to beat Usyk and then get in there, fight Fury, and then that's the fight of that's the fight of all fights, isn't it? You just want to see it in England as well, not in a stupid country, in England. I think it's an English fight. I think everyone is echoing that point. I mean, I think Tyson, I know he says a lot of stuff, but he came out the other day on his tour and mentioned it about it being at Wembley, so I know he says a lot of things as well, that he's retired, so you don't know what to believe. Um, but look, Josh, appreciate you giving us some of your time again. Um, I'll be back down Wednesday, so if you're here Wednesday, I'll see you again. And uh, yeah, good luck for your next fight, and we'll, we'll catch up with you again. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers.